If this year-round fly pattern is missing from your fly box, you're going to want to change that. We'll start this pattern off with some olive thread. Snap your excess free and continue wrapping well into the bend of the hook. At which point we can rotate the fly in our vise to make the next step a little bit easier. Grab a mallard or a wood duck flank, pull a few fibers free and secure them to the back of the fly. Once complete, we'll continue to secure the fibers on the back side of our hook shank. Rotate the fly back to its original position and continue securing the fibers forward until we reach our hook eye. Next, we'll grab some dubbing. Here I'm using a brown hare's ear as well as a tan ice dubbing. Create a dubbing noodle and begin to wrap this around the head of your fly, building up a dubbing ball that ends roughly at the hook point. And once complete, we'll brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. Fold over your feather and secure it just behind the dubbing ball. Snipping the excess free once complete. And then securing the tag ends using a whip finisher. Snip your thread free and you can either leave the fly as is, which will look a little bit better, or make it virtually indestructible by adding a little bit of UV resin. And this is the WD-40. This is the fly that I like to use as a betis or a midge imitation, and it's always in my fly boxes. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.